<laughs> am I supposed to start when you're tripping over there? That's Kyle. <laughs> What's going on everybody? It's Greg with RC Driver and I'm out here at a, let's just call it a remote testing location. Um, it's one of our favorite tracks. It's not quite built yet. It's in the process, but uh, we can't wait on testing the Lozy 8 Nitro Ready to Run any longer. And we're gonna make do with what we have out there on the track. We're just gonna have a lot of fun going over the jumps and stuff that are out there. And we're actually gonna go up out back to, uh, they got a motocross track out there. And so we're just gonna do some bashing to show you how versatile this buggy is. It looks like a lot of fun. Um, you saw that video I did with the unboxing, a lot of cool features on this buggy. So let's, let's just go see what it does. the track section up pretty quick here because it's kind of beat up so we're gonna go take it to the motocross track out back and uh, see what it could do back out there So we just wrapped up a day of testing here at our secret test location. Let's just take a quick look at the Lozy 8 Nitro Buggy after our day of bashing just to check out what the wear and tear on this buggy was. Uh, as you could see, we really filled up that air filter. It looks like we're just going to have to go with a new air filter. And that's one thing you should have uh, plenty of is new air filters just to make sure you don't get any dirt inside your engine. Uh, up front here we hit a lot of rocks and as you can see there's not a lot of damage there's some scuffing to the bumper we got some nicks in the arms but nothing bad at all the shocks held up the plastic tie rods held up and it looks pretty good so just moving along even the shocks look okay there's just a little seepage here but i think that's probably when they were built so i'm not going to worry about that let's take a look at the bottom of the chassis here and the bottom of the chassis did take a beating look at that there is a lot of scrapes and scratches on there. We have a few tanks through it. So that may be one upgrade in the future is to go to the TLR chassis, but I wouldn't worry about it if you're just a basher. Scrapes look cool. But as you can see, the buggy did really well. Uh, the head just has a few scrapes on it and uh, everything just looks great. The suspension is still set just right. 
Uh, Lozy did a great job on this, ready to run. Now I have one tuning suggestion for you, and that is to tweak the droop screws depending on where you drive it. So if you're gonna drive it out on the racetrack, leave the buggy as is, it does really well. But if you're gonna go out bashing with this, you're gonna to wanna to turn the droop screws in so there's more suspension travel. That is the one thing we noticed when we're out bashing, the suspension travel is limited and that's because it's set up for racing. So what did we think about the Lozy 8 Nitro ready to run? That is an awesome vehicle. We had a lot of fun with it on the track and out on the motocross track. As far as the handling goes, the buggy did an awesome job. It stays nice and level through the rough stuff. It jumps great. It's easy to control in the air. Uh, the braking was really good on it. The acceleration was excellent. We were really impressed with how that engine ran. We fired it up. The only thing we did to tune it was turn in the high needle a half a turn and it stayed with an excellent tune the entire time we ran it. Had a lot of power, but you know, what was great was the engine had a lot of snap. So when we were hitting the big jumps, it was a lot of fun. Um, and this, this buggy right here proved to be extremely durable. We hit a lot of rocks out there. Uh, it took a lot of tumbles off some of the big jumps and all that plastic stuff that I was worried about held up without issue. So awesome job Lozy. we really like what you did with this buggy and we just saw that the price is down to 350 dollars that makes that thing a real steal for a great off-road basher or something you could take to the track really hope you guys enjoyed this review if you haven't done so yet please click that subscribe button and if you have any questions on that buggy throw in the comment section below